What's happening everybody? Uh, so today we're gonna take Pablo and his two daughters out for a walk. I haven't uh, took them out together for a while, so I thought it'd be a good idea to take them out and let him have a little bit of bonding with them. But first of all, we're gonna stop off, get a little bit of food in our local cafe, and, uh, and then yeah, we're taking them out. Yeah, so we're just in our local cafe, um, come to get a little bit of pie and mash, and then we're gonna take Pablo and his daughters out for a walk. Yeah. First, we wanna charge up our energy, get some food in us. Do you know what? Um, we was out, innit? Yeah, he's, he, was, he was saying that all night. He said, I've got to wet the papers here. And I went, brother, you better go now then, mate. Yeah, it's great. Good to see you, Joe. Take care, brother. Hello? All right, Dad. All right, Dad? Yeah. What's um, happening? I, um, on, on your travels, Dad, would you get me some uh, Dr. Cinchamelo? Yeah. Uh, we want some uh, disinfectant. Yeah. Um, some deodorizer. Yeah. And some dog tubes, if you can, please. So you want dog biscuits, puppy dog biscuits, yeah. deodorizer, yeah. disinfectant, yeah. and some chews. Yeah. Lovely. Thanks All right, mate. All right. Well, listen. I'll stop there first, and I'm coming to get Pablo and his daughters. Yeah. All right then. Thanks, pal. All right, mate. Tell me. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so there's been a change of plan. Um, we've got to stop off at the wholesalers uh, and get some bits and bobs for the ranch. Uh, and then we're going to pick the dogs up. So this is the odour kill, dog friendly odour kill. And this is the dog friendly disinfectant. This is for cleaning down the yard, the patio inside the ranch, the pens and uh, the houses for the dogs outside. Yeah, so I'm gonna get Luger another bed because uh, he's at his last one. He probably eat this one as well, but that's just the day in life of owning an XL bully. Where's the rice ones? Rice. Yeah, so, so, uh, I, had a, I had a message the other day of a lady saying uh, about her dog's breath, how to change it. Get, get in one of them. <laughs> We're gonna get a couple of these rice bone chews for the dogs. We don't like the cowhide because I've had a couple of accidents with dogs choking on them and stuff in the past, so these are good. Done. <laughs> Right down to the point is because my daughter, she does a little bit of this. Does she? Um, she's at vet school. Okay. Um, so like she gets a lot of vet followers and that. So. The Bully Ranch YouTube. YouTube page. Mm -hmm. I've got Twitter. But always on YouTube. <laughs> but, um, it's, it's, saying, it's something, you know what I mean? You know what I'm doing? I'm doing like a day to day in life of being a dog breeder ah. and showing how I do it, how I operate just behind the scenes. Because mm -hmm. obviously there's a bit of a bad stigma around dog breeders, isn't there? You know? So obviously we just want to open our doors and show how we do things. Yeah. Pretty simple as that, really. Nice one, mate. Right. Thanks a lot, yeah? Cheers, thanks a lot. Good night, mate. Take care, mate. Yes, obviously, here we have our main man, Pablo. And also, we have with us two of his direct daughters. Out of a litter of five, I had to keep these two girls. And once they come into season, when they're ready, we'll be putting Lotto across them and hoping for a beautiful litter um, of mini micros. You can't get any more identical to Pablo, if I'm honest. They are, they are top girls. So Pablo looks like he's enjoying himself with his daughters today. Uh, they're all getting along fine. It's nice to have them out together. Uh, I'm really proud how these girls have turned out. Just, they're just like their dad. Beautiful little blue tries, lovely. So some people like ask what's the difference between a micro and an English Bulldog. A micro is just like a dwarf Bulldog. There's not a lot of Bulldogs as small as that, let me tell you. I'd say that's one of the smallest English Bulldogs I've ever seen in my life. I'm really looking forward to seeing their puppies. Um, took me a long while. Obviously, not everything goes to plan. Um, but yeah, now as soon as they come into their second season, I'll be mating them with Lotto. Right. 
and hoping for some uh, some variety of colours of mini micros. They might they might not all be mini micros, but most of the litters Pablo has produced, even if it's with a standard uh, size English bulldog, he still always throws one or two uh, mini micros. So hopefully his daughters uh, his daughters do the same. See, even though he's with his daughters, he's still showing off. You know, he's, he's playing up for the girls. I, I, I wouldn't claim he's, he's the best uh, micro English Bulldog in the world because there's, there's some really nice dogs out there, but I'd say he was one of the most unique mini micro English Bulldogs in the world, most definitely. Uh, like I said, he, he was one of the best investments I've ever made. And that is the new route. I mean, I've never seen tiny, tiny, tiny Bulldogs, you know, like teacup Bulldogs, and that's where we're sort of going with it. Uh, we're trying to keep them healthy, but we're also trying to make them as small as possible. So yeah, that's that's where we're heading. Yeah, so we get hundreds of uh, messages a week, like people asking us questions. Uh, sometimes we get some really silly questions, but you know, it is what it is. Like some people ask, uh, like, what breed do we breed in this? Like it says at the top of our page, <laughs> French Bulldogs, English Bulldogs and Pugs. So yeah, we get, we get asked that. I got a lady messaged me the other day asking if I breed staffs. Are you having another Frenchie litter in a few months? I need a female. We will most definitely be having a litter of Frenchies in a few months. So just keep your eyes peeled on our Instagram. Uh, we have another question. Hi, do you stud your dogs out to pure pedigree dogs? Uh, unfortunately, we don't stud our dogs out anymore. We studied Pablo out a couple of times. That was like in the beginning when we started breeding, where we studied them out a couple of times. But no, we don't stud them out no more because we want to make our puppies more exclusive. So the more people that have got uh, a st we, we're studying our dogs with, the more people that are going to have our lines and our look. Hi, I'm from America, but I'm a huge fan of the Bully Ranch. Where are you in England and do you allow visitors who aren't interested in buying? Now that's a good, that's a good question because we are going to start accepting people that are not, buying, uh, are not interested in buying and we're going to do it so it's just a donation so we can start, uh, start a charity for, for the Dogs Trust or something like that, something local, something that's doing something for dogs. So yeah, we're going to start accepting visitors that are not interested in buying just to come down and they can leave a small donation which will go to a charity.